to make these limbs, you'll be needing a Sharpie or just something that you can write on cardboard with. Uh, some scissors, a ruler, some cardboard. It's a binder clip. So let's get started. So I got this cardboard out of a pajama set and it was like holding the pants to keep them in a shape if you know what I'm talking about. And it's actually the pajamas I'm wearing so if you like see my sleeves start falling down, yeah. They're fuzzy and they're comfortable so you know. So <laughs> it's perfectly, it's uh, I think it's it's eight and a half inches. I'm lining it up in the middle so you can uh, see it better. But you may have to cut yours to be like an even half inch because we're going to make marks along every half inch. So right here I'm starting at a half inch. So there's a half inch. There's one. There's one. And you're just going to mark half inches all the way down. So there we go. They don't have to be perfect and they don't have to be the same length or anything. Just the same width apart. And now I'm just going to take my scissors and then I'm just going to cut little slits in each half inch. So I'm just going to take it, cut a slit at each sharpie mark that I made. And this limb, I believe, is going to have 16 marks, and so it'll be able to hold 16 strings. And then if I wanted to, I could put two strings on the outside, and it could hold 18 strings. So, it's pretty cool. There are some different companies that make these type of looms that aren't cardboard. Of course, they're uh, better plastic. And I could review some of those if you guys wanted me to. Uh, they're not too difficult to find, I don't think. They don't have to be perfect, just kind of there at least. So now we have options for the top. So now I'm going to measure out the middle. So it was eight and a half. So four and a quarter. Should be half. So right in here. Let me turn it over. That was kind of pointless. Okay, four and a quarter. So I'm going to make that mark with a sharpie and a four and a quarter inch. Like that. And now you have, uh, you can do one of two options. I think you could sort of, I guess you could do both. What you can do is you can cut a slit right here. So you can put your bracelet in that slit like this. So I'm just going to cut a slit, like that. Make this one a little bit longer than the other one, see how long that is. You can cut a slit right there and you can stick your bracelet in. I'll show you how to do that here in just a minute. Or, you can take your little binder clip and you can use this to clip down your bracelet. I want to get at a better angle and I'll put a bracelet on it and show you how it works. Before I get started, I'm just going to show you this bracelet. This is a uh, chevron Chinese staircase kind of mix. I'll link Beyond Bracelet's original twirl in the description box. She did this with a candy stripe, and I decided I would do it with a chevron. Yeah, that's what this bracelet is, in case you were wondering. So we're going to start with the top, and all you really have to do is take it and clip it down if you're using the clip. But if you're just using the slit, all you have to do is just slip your bracelet right inside of there. And that is more secure than you might think. It's actually pretty secure. I'm just going to show you basically how you would spread out your strings. So you would take one of them and you would just stick it on. I forget how many strings is even in this bracelet. Maybe too many, I'm not sure. And this way, you're not getting your strings jumbled up, and they're just right here, and you can move them in the slots and just put them back. 
I can show you with a smaller bracelet and I'll show you how to use it when you're knotting. So this is just going to be a basic candy stripe. So I'd pull out my first two strings that I'm having to make my knots with. And I would make my knot. So there's one and two. So after I've made my knot, I would come down here. And now this is the first string in my sequence. So I'm going to move it over to my first slot. And then I'm not going to put this one back yet because I'm not done with it. I have to knot all the way across. So I'm going to take out the next one, make a knot. This is the basic gist of how you would do it. You can get the hang of it from here. You might put like a paperweight down when you're working just so it doesn't come up. And you can put that one in the slot next to your other one. Because really this skip slot right here, that's where this string is. But we're not going to put it in there because we just have to take it right back out again. So now, can do the next knot. Put it in there next to those other three. Pull out the next one. Make your knot. Put it back next to those other two. Pull out your next one. Make a knot. Put it next to those other two, those other ones. What did I say two? And then take out this one. Make your knot. Put it back with the others. And then take this one. Make your knot. And put it back with the others. Like that. And now you have this other string, and you can just put it right at the end. Then you'd repeat it with the next string in your sequence, and you'd continue making your candy stripe. Just a quick note for me, this might make it a little bit slower because I'm just, I'm better at making them because I'm experienced at it. So this might make it slower, but if you're a beginner, this is definitely the way to go because it's just so easy and it makes everything a lot easier and you're not going to get your strings out of order and your bracelets are going to look a lot neater and a lot more professional. Even if they do maybe take you a little bit more time, which they probably won't if you're a beginner, they uh, this will definitely help you, especially if you spend a lot of time sorting out your strings before each row. This is definitely the way to go. So I definitely recommend making, recommend making one of these and yeah and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like the idea and leave a comment telling me how much you like this if you made it if this has really helped you you're making it you can tell any of that any questions comments or concerns and also don't forget to follow my instagram it's crafty underscore kbug and you can also subscribe here on youtube so you can insert your name after crafty Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!